Time has come to try and finish the camper. I've had it just set up for the whole winter and I tried to fix the ceiling but it was still leaking. So I had to cover it completely in plastic and wrap it for the winter. When I did that, I found out that the camper actually had a flat tire. <laughs> so before I can get started fixing the roof and making it watertight, I have to try and change the tires, which I've never done before. So I have no idea what I'm doing, but there is this spare tire on the camper. So I hope that will work, but it might be too old. I don't know. I might just have to do it and then get it to someone who can put complete new tires on it. We'll see. Look at this. It's completely filled with stuff. So after I fix the tire, I have to try and empty it out. I don't have a garage, so I couldn't put it in a garage for the winter, so I had to pile everything in the camper. And I think that's what put in too much pressure on the tire. One down, three to go. I've never done this before, it's quite funny. of manly. I don't know why. We did it! <laughs> I hope it doesn't fly off when we start driving it, but we'll see. I am going to attempt to unwrap the camper today and empty it out and hopefully tear down the whole ceiling. I am genuinely excited about finishing this project and starting working on it again because I am ready to get this bad boy out on the road. Enough with it just sitting in my driveway. I need to get it out there and explore the world. Well, back to work. Hmm. I have the old tent in here, but I honestly don't think that we're gonna use it ever again because it has holes in it and the whole tent in the front isn't really us. Um, so I'm just gonna get it out of here and then see if we wanna keep it. It takes up so much space. It actually isn't so bad. I'm almost done. so scared of this and I'm wearing my earplugs and I don't have any safety glasses so I'm gonna wear my sunglasses and I hope I don't get splinters everywhere I tried covering the bed with some plastic that I found outside but we'll see cross my fingers I probably have dirt in my whole face, but yeah. It's kind of weird when I'm cutting it down because some parts of the wood, like this right here, 
is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. And then over here, just like 20 centimeters down, is all rotten. So I have to change it. And I have this natural divider from this line. There's like this rubber thingy here. And it's also over here. So that's the section that I want to change out. And I feel really good about cutting the whole thing down. It's a lot of hard work, but I think I'll feel a lot better after knowing that I replaced all the bad wood and there's no more water up there. So far it's going good. Well, it was good intentions, but it looks like it's not gonna work. So I better just use my hammer on the inside try to get the screws out. Huh. I tried. getting all this old moldy junk out of here. It's not welcome in my camper. Ugh. Ooh. I did break some of this, what was supposed to stay there, but I could have spent an hour trying to get that down, so I'm okay with it. I think I'm almost done taking down the ceiling. It looks pretty good. It's taken a few hours, but it hasn't been as bad as I dreaded. <laughs> I just need this one little corner over here and then I'm done. In a year from now, I'll probably still be able to find some little white ones like this. <laughs> I probably look really tired right now, but that's just part of the process, right? Well, it was a really good day. It was easier to take down the ceiling than I thought it would be. And now I'm ready to start putting up the new ceiling. So I just have to go to the supply store and get the stuff and cut up some boards, but I think it'll be okay. The worst part is definitely over and I'm really happy with the result. So next time I'll move on to fixing the ceiling. See you next time!